The AI Lip Sync tool Lemon Slice now offers multi-character AI lip sync. Give it an image with your characters along with the speech that you want them to say, it puts it all together into a video with your characters speaking. Most AI lip sync tools can only work with a single character, so it's good to see another one offering multi-character AI lip sync. Let's check it out. Logged into Lemon Slice, we want to go up to the studio. That brings us into the workflow for creating a single character AI lip sync. To use multi-character, we need to come over here on the left and click on conversations. The first thing we need is an image for multi-character lip sync. It only works from an image, not a video. It gives us this little sample here and shows us how we'll mark out our characters. To swap this out, you can click update image. From here, you can upload an image. You can select an image that you've already uploaded to Lemon Slice or go over to the generate tab and create a new image of your characters using one of the models they have available. I'm going to close out of here because if you're bringing in a new image of your character, you can also just drag and drop it right here in this panel. Now we'll move these boxes to cover our characters. We've got character one there. We'll move this one over character two and just drag that out. We want to get kind of as much of their top halves as we can. Below that, we can rename these characters and that can be really handy later on. So we'll go ahead and do that. It'll be real simple. I'll just make character one woman and I'll make character two man. If we had more characters in this image, we just hit the add character button and then move the box around whatever other characters were there. By default for the audio, we're in script mode and for that you would select a voice for each character. Just click the drop down. You can play to sample any of these voices, scroll through and pick the one that you want to use. Same thing for our other character. And then over on the right, type out your script line by line. Once you hit enter or leave that script box, it'll go ahead and generate the audio. You can preview it here. Hi, my name is Jane. Glad to be here. Then just move on to your next character. Then if you want to add more conversation, just click this add line, select which character you want to do the talking. We'll say the woman's going to talk again and then just move on through until until you have all your lines in there. You can regenerate any single line of speech. You can also trim using these little handles here to trim up the audio for any one of these individual lines. Here at the bottom, it puts together a preview of all the audio so all these lines combined in order. Using Lemon Slice's text-to-speech is just one way to get your audio in there. If we come up top here to this drop-down that says script mode, we've got four options. The script mode that we've just looked at. You've also got music mode. Now, if we click that, it's going to come up, give us a warning and say, hey, we're going to wipe out everything you just did. Is that what you want to do. Yeah, we're going to do that. Then this box over here on the right turns into select music audio. There we can either upload our song file, select a song file that we already have on Lemon Slice, or you can actually come over to this AI music tab and generate a song right here on Lemon Slice. Now, if we use music or a song as our audio, we don't have a way to assign certain parts of the song to one character or the other. It's just going to have both of them sing in unison. The last two modes are for when you already have your spoken audio and you just want to upload it and use it. Notebook LM mode lets you upload one file that has both speakers talking in it and it'll separate it out by speaker. With this last one, Upload Mode Advanced, you'd upload one file per speaker, but you need to have that spaced out so that they are the exact same size. Each audio file is the same length for each speaker and you'll have the spaces built into that file. Depending on where and how you created your audio, Notebook LM mode might be easier, but the Advanced mode is an option too. We're going to go with Notebook LM mode. We'll say yes, we're going to switch to that mode and wipe out our current song. I'm going to drag and drop my audio file that has both speakers in it already. I can play to preview that audio. If I could just make... All right, so the man is talking first. That's good to know because up here, I need to give it the order. It's going to separate out these speakers and know which is which, but I have to tell it which one starts talking first. So in this case, for man, speaker order, he is the first speaker. And of course, that means the woman will be the second speaker. And this is why it's a good idea to go ahead and name these characters something that you'll recognize or distinguish them because it gets a little confusing if you have character one, second speaker, character two, first speaker. It can get a little weird and I've made some mistakes. Mistakes. And then I end up with my characters speaking in voices that don't make sense for them. So don't be a bob, do it the smart way. Now we've got our images, we've got our characters identified, we've got the audio uploaded, we've told it which one speaks first, it's going to separate them out. Now the next thing to do is select a model. You have two choices here, you have V2.5 and the newest model V2.7. The V2.5 model only animates the mouth and face, but it can generate a video up to one to five minutes in length, depending on which subscription tier you're on and it says it can handle an unlimited number of characters in the scene. V2.7 is newer. It tries to animate the body and background rather than just the mouth, but the max audio upload for the 2.7 model is eight seconds. And that's not per character. The total length of the generated AI lip sync video maxes out at eight seconds. And with the 2.7 model, you've
you can only have two characters in the scene. It won't work with three or four characters. We'll go ahead and run this with both. We'll start with V2.5. The next option here is private mode. If we don't want our AI lip sync video to show up in the community gallery, we need to go ahead and toggle that on. Next to that, on the generate button, it'll show us how many credits it's gonna use, 14 credits for this six second video. We'll go ahead and click generate. It's gotten to work right down here. We see the little lemon slice spinning around. Let's come back up. We'll switch the model to V2.7. And for the 2.7 model, a prompt is required describing the interaction. They give the example of two people are talking and looking at each other. For this scene, I'll say two people are talking while looking at the camera, occasionally glancing at each other. That's the only change we need to make to use the 2.7 model with this scene. We'll leave it the private mode toggled on. And it looks like with the 2.7 model, this will be 198 credits. We'll go ahead and generate. A few minutes later, we have our AI lip sync video from the 2.5 model. If I could just make one important point on this. You making an important point? That would be a first. What stands out are the guy's frozen hands, but remember, 2.5 doesn't animate the body or background. So to make that work for this scene, maybe crop in the starting image so it's just showing these folks chest up and not have hands in there mid-motion when I know they aren't going to move. Now here's what the 2.7 model did. It's quite a bit slower. This one took about 19 minutes to generate. If I could just make one important point on this. You making an important point? That would be a first. Well, it obviously has the characters speaking the opposite of what I assigned. Since I was recording what I did, I went back and double checked that I had the characters identified and mapped correctly, so not sure what happened there. Let's try again. Here under conversations, we'll come down and find the video. This one is the 2.7 model version. So let's come down here and we'll click the remix button. That brought in all the settings, the image, it identified the characters, it changed the names, and it brought in the audio. Now, since I used the notebook LM mode the first time, what it did with that combined audio files, it split it out and created audio for the guy and for the woman. But somehow I can tell in this name, it has the woman's audio as speaker one, and we clearly marked her as the second speaker. So we basically need to swap these two files. So let's start with this one. We'll come over here to change audio. As long as we're sorted by most recent, newest first, which we are, it should be these top two files. So I'll grab speaker one for him. Just check that. If I could just make one. Right, that's him. All right, let's do the same for her. Change audio. That should be speaker two. You make. Yep, that's what we want. We'll grab that one. Let's see, this character we named man and man, that is the male voice. And then woman matches woman. And that was the woman speaking. We'll leave the prompt the same, the model. We're gonna go ahead and toggle back on private mode again. I wish that would stay on by default and go ahead and generate. The redo took about 19 minutes to generate the same as the first time around and here it is. If I could just make one important point on this. You making an important point? That would be a first. We've got the characters saying the right lines this time, but the quality in the mouth area isn't great and the hands, well, they're pretty awful. The fingers get stretched into different shapes and melt and all kinds of stuff that hands just don't do. I made some other multi-character AI lip sync videos with Lemon Slice like this one with our guys that are always being accused of something they didn't do. They got it all wrong. We wasn't stealing no car. Yeah, I mean, we found it running and didn't want to waste gas. Conservation matters, right? So we was just doing our part, you know? That was with the 2.5 model. The mouth formations are fairly accurate for the sounds being produced, but the teeth get a little squishy in a few spots, and the guy on the left, his teeth just seem way too bright. We get a little bit of facial expression, but of course the 2.5 model doesn't try to animate the body or background. Now here's how the 2.7 model did with this one. They got it all wrong. We wasn't stealing no car. Yeah, I mean, we found it running and didn't want to waste gas. Conservation matters, right? So we was just doing our part, you know? Having some body movement and breathing is a big improvement, but the teeth and inside the mouth area is choppy and noisy, and there's really nothing happening in the background. I tried running this again and prompting for the red and blue lights to be flashing, but it didn't help. We started out with a few tools and an idea. Two years later, we have a lot of tools and a lot of debt. Don't forget the matching ulcers. Yeah, that's the only thing we haven't put up as collateral. Rigid is the only word that comes to mind for this one. The mouth and facial animation looks okay. Of course, the faces in this scene are relatively small, so that might be helping with that. But the complete lack of movement from the neck down just makes this scene feel stiff and off. And since my audio for that one was 10 seconds long, I couldn't run it with the 2.7 model because it's limited to an 8 second maximum duration. We went out and got every gadget they make to childproof our house. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, but somehow the kids keep getting back in. This guy's teeth, when he started talking, get so outrageously big, I thought it was just going to replace his whole head with a set of teeth. Otherwise, the mouth formations line up with the sounds, but the overall quality of the teeth and mouth areas is a little rough. We went out and got every gadget they make to childproof our house. <laughs> yeah, but somehow the kids keep getting back in. The guy's teeth are more realistic in this version, but still, his teeth and hers look noisy and low resolution. The body language helps helps, but I feel like it should have done something with their hands, at least one of them. Now here's a cartoon-style scene. Coming up next, dogs across the nation have formed a union. That's right, and among their demands are longer walks and unlimited belly rubs. Cartoon style is usually a little more forgiving with AI lip sync, and that's definitely the case here. No complaints with the mouth or face animation, and I even like how the guy on the left shows a little bit of surprise at something she says. Some body and background animation would have been nice though, so let's see what the 2.7 model does with that. Coming up next, dogs across the nation have formed a union. That's right, and among their demands are longer walks and unlimited belly rubs. Well, for what we got in animation beyond their faces, which wasn't much, we got far worse quality in the mouth areas. And it's cool that it animated her hands, but they morphed and blurred. I mean, I guess at least it distracts from the weird things that are going on with their mouths melting and morphing. So, do you want to get together again sometime? Well, you're a really nice guy, and I like you as a friend, but... I got plenty of friends. I'm good. The lack of body and background animation really doesn't work for this scene. But we know 2.5 doesn't do that, so it's on us to design a scene that works without it. Beyond that, the facial expressions are weird in this one. She starts opening her mouth and closing her eyes way too early. It's actually distracting. And then there's a jump cut where she goes from talking to looking in another direction and smiling weirdly. So, do you want to get together again sometime? Well, you're a really nice guy, and I like you as a friend, but... I got plenty of friends. I'm good. The background animation looks okay, as long as you don't study it too hard. The video quality of and around the teeth here is really bad. And having the guy gesture with his hand is good, but his hand seems to be an off-brand hologram or something. It just can't stay together. I just think the spoon is the most emotionally intelligent utensil. That's such a brave take. It's true. It holds space. Literally and metaphorically. And this is another one where the 2.5 model not animating body or background just really doesn't work too well for this scene where we need these characters to hold up their mic when they speak, maybe look at each other, and since this scene has more than two characters, I couldn't run it with the 2.7 model to try and get some body background animation. Here at Synergentix, we're more than a team. We're a family. Except I don't know anyone's last name. Or what we actually do. But of course, we're deeply aligned with the company's core values. I'd say this one feels rigid or stiff, but there's some goofy, subtle head movement going on. And I couldn't try this one with the 2.7 model because not only does it have more than two characters, it also is over eight seconds long. Overall, the results here for multi-character AI lip sync and lemon slice are kind of disappointing. But I've gotten some decent results for AI lip sync with a single character, and I like the simple and intuitive interface on Lemon Slice along with all the options they give you for the visuals or audio you want to use for your AI lip sync, and their pricing is relatively good. All the Lemon Slice subscription tiers include access to conversations, that's what you need for multi-character AI lip sync. In the standard plan, which is $8 a month, that gives you 1,200 credits per month and a one minute max video length. But remember, regardless of what plan you're on, V2.7 is limited to eight seconds in conversations. That's the multi-character AI lip sync. For $20 a month in the plus plan, you get 3,000 credits a month. If you move up to the professional plan, you can get that five minute max video length. But again, V2.7 in multi-character or conversation mode is still limited to eight seconds. Below the pricing, they break down the credit costs for things, both in the studio, the single character AI lip sync, and in conversations, the multi-character AI lip sync. I'll keep on keeping an eye on Lemon Slice and really rooting for them to get it dialed in. Who knows, maybe the next model update will bring it all together. Hey, my name is Bob. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope you'll come back and join me for another video.